So about a week ago, I saw one of the most attractive girls I've ever seen in my entire life. And I was at this event with some of my friends. What happened is I was not going to talk to her, but we all noticed. We looked across the room and we were like, this girl is like next level attractive. I was actually forced to go up and talk to her. And we'll get to that in a second. But first, I need to preface explaining what happened and how it led up to this point. So because I have a pretty big following on social media, I get invited to certain events. And this event specifically was a creator established event, meaning you had to have a certain number of followers to get in. And I flew all the way across from where I live now, Virginia, to LA to go to this trip. Now, when we got to this event, we thought everything was fine. I have over a million, like almost 2 million followers. So I was like, I'm definitely going to get in. We got rejected at the door. Like they literally tried kicking us out. Like we couldn't get in. So me and all my creator friends grouped together and we find a way to sneak into the event. And this wasn't anything crazy because we pretty much just put wristbands on and walked in. Like it wasn't hard to get in at all. But now that we're in this event, it's pretty exclusive. It's only people who have a really big following. So I'm with all my guys. We're just looking around, you know, scoping out the event. And my friends decided it would be a good idea to take me to this sort of like makeup looking booth that they had there. And put like stickers on my face i don't know why i agreed to this because it was filmed and the camera got shoved in my face and it was just really awkward so now i'm at this event that we snuck into like i was saying it's really exclusive and i have this weird stuff all over my face i looked pretty zesty i guess you could say and my friends are pretty much recording everything that's happening until i see this girl that i'm talking about and like i said all of my friends instantly noticed like as soon as i looked at her we all looked at each other and like gave that smile you know what i'm talking about we, we all knew we were like okay this girl's extremely attractive so one of my friends i was at the, the event with goes up to her and like introduces me without even like saying anything like he did it unwarranted i guess to like push me out there i don't even know and to make things even worse they were recording the whole thing so she's on camera like it's on camera me going up to her and talking i guess trying to make the conversation because I'm not just gonna walk away just because my friend tried to embarrass me you know what I mean but I'm there I'm talking to her and I'm not gonna lie I'm freezing up I don't even know what to say there's a camera like right in our face so it was really dumb but I made a really big mistake and this is my advice on what not to do for you guys is I was acting not myself so I guess because this girl was really high status had a lot of followers was really attractive I was like scared to say what I actually wanted to say I was pretty much just in my head and it did not go as planned at all. Like, I could tell instantly I put her on way too big of a pedestal. And that's something you can never do. Like, whenever you meet somebody or look at someone, you can't put them above you. You have to treat them like a regular person because no matter how many followers, how much money, how much status, how popular they are, maybe there's, like, a popular girl at your school, you can't put them on a pedestal. It will never work. And a lot of us do this subconsciously. Without trying, you put people above you. And that's because of deep rooted insecurities. You feel like you're not good enough for that person to even necessarily talk to. Them. Now, I wouldn't say this was on that level, but it got a lot worse because I saw her more times than just this event. So now at this event, after talking to her, that was pretty much like the most exciting part. It was like funny. They were recording it like all of it. It was really embarrassing, you know, so there was a lot of emotions there. Shortly after that, we actually got kicked out. And I'm not surprised because we snuck in, but I actually did see her again, actually three times. So now we're all leaving the event, going to do our own things, and a day goes by. I'm having fun in LA, going to certain events, and a lot of different things. I didn't think I would ever even see this girl again until we go to this TikTok hosted party. Now this one is a big one. This is probably the most exclusive one. You, I was seeing like famous influencers all over the place. And by the way, a lot of you guys probably know this girl who I'm talking about right now, so I really hope she doesn't see this. But at the end of the day, I guess I don't care that much. So now I'm in line to get into this extremely exclusive event. Like people are getting kicked out left and right. Like it's very hard to get in. Luckily though, for some reason, when I flashed my followers, to, like the bouncer people, they let me in. They're like, okay, you're good. It's whatever. So now I get into this party and I'm seeing famous people everywhere. Like people that I know. I saw Charlie D'Amelio's mom. I saw this girl named Lauren Gray. If you guys have ever seen her on TikTok. Really like kind of, I guess, low level famous people. Like not A-list. I mean, I guess Charlie D'Amelio is an A-list celebrity at this point. But yeah. I get here and I'm excited to talk to people like that was my main goal I wanted to talk to people network see who I could get to meet when I'm there and That's when I bump into this girl again And I really hope that like none of my friends or her are seeing this because it was so awkward But she was wearing this like dress that made her look amazing like bro She was easily the most attractive girl of the night by far like hands down like every dude noticed I literally anywhere she went I would see dudes looking she has millions of followers too she has she has like everything like I was saying this time on my own accord I said hey uh, just talking to her and I just didn't know what else to do I completely folded under pressure I did the one thing I knew that I shouldn't have and I put her on the biggest pedestal 
I basically valued myself at the point where I didn't even feel like I should talk to her. I felt like I was not meant to be in that place because she has like way more followers than me, all that. And I wish I didn't do that. And I feel like none of you guys should do that either. Treat people like yourself if you want to be treated fair. I want you guys to remember this saying because I've heard it a lot, especially recently, but it's treat someone like a celebrity and you'll be treated like a fan. And this is true in any regard. So that popular girl at your school or maybe that girl that you're afraid to talk to, if you treat them like there's someone that you aren't deserving of, it is not going to work. You are going to fold under pressure. You're not going to know what to say. It's going to be awkward. What you have to do is treat someone like you don't care. And no, I'm not saying like be annoying or be a bad person to them. No, I'm saying treat someone like you would treat anyone else. Like, for example, if you were talking to one of your best friends, how are you going to act? Are you going to like glaze them? Like, what are you going to do? After this interaction, I was completely done. I honestly didn't want to see this girl again because it was so awkward. I was like, okay, this is a... Uh, pointless venture at this point like there's no reason for me to try to approach this girl again and what's really weird about it all is I have never been like scared or bad at approaching girls like I've literally had girls in this room and you can find this on social media and I'll get them to like record me joking around like I'm the least caring person when it comes to this stuff this is one of the first times I have ever completely frozen like just completely ruined my chance like I was saying I was ready for this to be the last time that I saw this girl I was just ready to go. I was ready to go and just talk to other people, do my thing. I wasn't even there for girls in the first place. I only talked to her in the beginning because my friend pushed me to do it. So now I said hi to all these other influencers. I had no problem talking to any of the other girls. Not to say that they were like less attractive or like, I don't know. I just feel like this girl had so much like aura, I guess is the right word. I don't know what word to use. I had no issue with any of the other girls and I actually did have a successful story that I'll get to at the very end of this video. But I need to get to the third interaction that I had with this girl and it was probably the worst one. So now at this point, I'm like completely done. I I've basically put this situation behind me. I didn't even care. I wasn't thinking about it. I was having fun the rest of that night with my friends as I would. And now I'm with my friend who introduced me to her the first time. We're walking around and this dude goes up and he finds her in the crowd and I'm just with him. So I'm like right behind him and he taps her shoulder and he introduces me a third time. And that was the most, I was like, actually like, bro, there's no way you just did this to me. We've already had two extremely awkward interactions. And the way he did it, it sounded like he was approaching her. Like he was trying to get her number or something. Uh, and he's like telling her about himself. And he's like, oh, but yeah, my friend here. And then he pulls me out and she's just like, we both kind of looked at each other inside. Like me and the girl, we were like, okay, we're just done. And now there's people behind me, like blocking me off. So I'm basically forced to talk to her. She's like literally right in front of me. I said like the most awkward stuff. She was awkward at this point. She did a very good job at like not being awkward. But at this point, it was just like, even for her, I, I was like, oh, third time, third time's the charm. Like I was saying some bad stuff, bro. It was horrible. But in that moment where she also folded, I kind of realized like that there was no point I was putting her on a pedestal in the first place. Like, she could be awkward. She could have the same thoughts about me. Like, you really don't know until you know. Like, for all you know, the girl that you like is way more obsessed with you. You have no idea. Now, I'm not saying this girl was obsessed with me, which, oh, dude, it's so bad. I'm usually fine telling stories, but the fact that this girl is, like, so popular, it's, like, a little bit different because I feel like there's a high chance she'll see this. But, like, bro, she's literally just like me. Like, let's be completely real. We have, like, similar followings. I, I guess I just put her on a pedestal because I've never been in a situation where I've seen a girl so desired by every person. Like, I, this is the last time I'm going to say it, but when she was walking through, like, the crowd or the event, I would literally see every single dude's head turn. So, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of a different scenario. So, I didn't see her for the rest of the night, but I was not going to take this really bad situation and leave it as a bad situation. I was going to learn from it, and this is where I think you guys can learn too. So, now I move on to the next event, and every single event, there's just like a ton of famous people there, so you're just bound to see someone. And now I see these new girls where I actually was like, okay, maybe we'll talk to them. They actually ended up coming up to me and my friend, and we talked for like the whole night. At this event, everything's going well. I feel like I didn't even stumble on my words or anything. And the reason is because I learned and I realized not to care. Like, let's say everything were to go wrong when I was talking to her, then what? You just don't see her again? Or like everything goes right, then that's good. You you'll, you might hang out or something like that. And she actually did end up coming to my place and spending the night. Now, I'm going to get to how we got to that point in a second. But what happened is these girls came up to me and my friend and they just started chatting with us. And it was going to be a very brief conversation, I could tell. But something that I did that completely separated it and made it a lot more like, I guess, romantic. I don't even know if that's the right word. Is she's talking to us and then I separate her and her friend and I go talk to her like separately. So like we're in the same circle talking as like a group of four. 
but now I'm like going over here and I'm letting them separate and I learned from my mistakes completely like I didn't fumble on my words I didn't put her on a pedestal I was actually joking a lot like making fun of her and just not in like a like a bullying or bad type of way but I, I literally just didn't care and they ended up spending the rest of the night with me and my friends so we just continued talking and they rode home with us we just had a lot of fun made videos and stuff they were like really cool people to meet but at the same time I didn't pull any moves because I'm not actually that like type of guy like I'm not just trying to like hook up with girls or anything like that I literally do it number one for the experience two for fun and also for practice like it's like I don't know I'm, I'm not looking for a girl right now it just doesn't make sense for me but yeah they come back to our place and they had nowhere to go so we actually ended up sleeping in the same room and nothing went down so duh sorry if that like killed your expectations but I, I didn't want to try anything like that's literally just not who I am so the main thing what not to do is act like someone else or put someone else on a pedestal that will make you so unattractive and so undesirable it just ruins everything for you what you should do is be calm cool collected be yourself and they'll probably like that more. now if you want to understand what not to do in a relationship standpoint watch this video about my first girlfriend it was pretty crazy <laughs>